Hello boys and girls, this is Professor Nelson from Electronic Speaking. Would you like to put lights that turn on and off to the rhythm of the music from your sound system or your speaker? Well today I will teach you a way to do it. In such a way that you do not need to use complex integrated circuits. Like this one here. You can put LEDs of different colors. Like these. In such a way that the assembly is quite simple. And that these LEDs turn on and off to the rhythm of the music. Making your sound system look better than before. So let's start. Well for this circuit we are going to use a property of the LEDs. Which is the threshold voltage or voltage necessary to turn on the LEDs. The blue one needs a different voltage than the red one, to the white one, or to the yellow one. That is to say that each one requires a voltage to be able to work, which is different for each color. So we are going to see the necessary voltage of each color with the multimeter. Let's select diode. We're on diode, and we're going to test the voltage needed for each LED. Let's start with red. Negative to negative. And we're going to see the voltage that appears. One point eight three volts. That is the voltage that this LED requires to work. Then the yellow one. One point eight six. It is a little higher than the red one. Then the blue one. Two point six three. It is much higher than the other colors. Then the white one. Two point six four. It is slightly higher than the blue one. 2.64 2.63 The white LED requires more voltage than the rest of the LEDs. That difference in voltage is what will allow us to have different levels. That is to say that the LEDs will turn on at different times. According to the sound that we have in our audio amplifier. So let's put together the circuit. Okay, guys, this would be the circuit. Here we have our audio amplifier. Like this one here. This is a 10 watt amplifier. We have the power or voltage input. The output for the speakers. Audio input. And those would be the connections. So we have our amplifier. Well, what matters most to us is where our speaker is placed. So when you want to place the speaker, you will have two cables in your speaker. Those two cables are going to be placed to the audio amplifier. In my case, I have a negative output. And I have a signal output. So, Look at what the negative output of your amplifier is in order to connect the LEDs. Well, you will have to place the LEDs in parallel to the speaker. And you will have to place a resistor to each LED. And as I mentioned, it is better if they have different colors. In my case, I am only going to place three since the red and the yellow have almost the same threshold voltage. Or working voltage. Well, there you would have the three LEDs. You can place resistors from 10 to 47 ohms of a quarter of a watt. I have the red one. I have the blue one, and I have the white one in parallel to the speaker. 
Don't worry, your LED won't burn out. That's why we're using resistors. You can use a medium value. In this case, it would be 22 ohms, which will be fine and will not affect the audio at all. So this would be the circuit we need to build. In my case, I'm going to build it on this small breadboard. Here we have the outputs to the speaker. And from here we have to make the parallel connections of the three LEDs. Therefore, we are going to use quarter ohm resistors. In my case, I'm only going to use 10 ohm resistors. You can use, as I said, 22 ohms or even 47 ohms. This is just so the LEDs can shine much brighter. First the red one, then the blue one, then the white one, we connect the negative to the three LEDs. And that's it. In this way, there would be three resistors for each LED diode and the negatives of all the LEDs. So these would be the connections to the speaker. Let's make the connections to the speaker and test how our LEDs shine. Okay, guys, here we have the amplifier, the audio signal through the phone, the amplifier has two cables that go to the speaker through the black alligator clip and the red alligator clip. In turn, the LEDs are connected in parallel to the speaker. So let's see the result of our circuit. Well, there you have just seen the result. You will tell us what you think. Write in the comments what you think of the light effect of this circuit. Honestly, it's interesting. Especially because it doesn't require an integrated circuit. The LEDs will turn on and off to the rhythm of the music. So I think it's a good complement to our sound equipment. Not only to listen to the audio, but also to be able to see it through the LEDs. Well, guys, that would be all. Comment in the comments what you think of the little circuit. And don't forget that a like helps the channel a lot. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.